Hey YouTube, thought I'd make a quick update on the Plymouth Voyager, so it's been a while, so otherwise things have just been going. It's finally cleared up here. It's the rainy season usually in this area, so but since it's actually drying out, trying to get all the vehicles clean, got to get this old truck going as well, cleaned and everything, and got the vet all clean. Eventually I'll get the Mach 1 going. Apparently the batteries did, it just sits, so that's going to get a attention i ought to make a video of that one she's got a bunch of stuff done to her stroked out motor everything so but that'll be another time anyway going back to the van basically everything is now fixed on it i got the compass going found out you could actually use a 1989 through 1991 jeep grand wagoneer compass they actually are the same thing same overhead console it's just the mounting brackets are different on the jeep versus the chryslers but Otherwise, yeah, it works. It, everything displays correctly. Now I'm happy about that. So the other thing I've also gotten on this van is new wheels and tires. The original hubcaps just weren't cutting it. So um, these are the same style as the hubcaps and actually period correct. They're from the Chrysler TC Maserati, which um, is the same wheel as the Chrysler Town & Country and the Plymouth Voyager Dodge Caravan twins, but the difference is is the Chrysler TC Maserati is a polished wheel versus the minivans which had the little which were actually silver flake gray or or in the case of the Chrysler Town & Country they were body colored. But otherwise this is like I said nothing new on the outside just been keeping her clean actually got her washed pulling her out for the first time in a while. I'll be a uh, going around the block this time and I'll kind of show you some stuff here but otherwise uh, like I said she's a good running band she's now has right at 89,000 miles get her started here compass works happy about that go for a little drive around the block here kind of warming up look at the AC going my uh -oh. seatbelts all right it's gonna go around the block here and probably cut it off but at least just kind of get a driving video of the van yeah, so I'm trying to drive with one hand and right here But yeah, she's a. Uh, everything's now finally broken in. The shocks, when I replaced them, I actually went with uh, the KYBs versus the Monroe and the Gabriels. KYBs were pretty stiff, and it took about a good 2,000 miles for it to soften up because this thing rode like a tank when I first installed those things. There was barely no give in the suspension, but per the instructions, you have to drive it, which is why I went from 85 to 88,000 miles. I've just been kind of driving this thing off and on more often more throughout the last year taking it on a few trips a uh, couple hour trips across the state so but yeah see otherwise um nothing new nothing everything's still the same you got the period correct windshield wipers on this thing so yeah let me get a picture of the back area so, yeah so here's the overhead compass everything here I think it's a uh, so again she's just a good running vehicle I actually enjoy driving it I you know taking actually the family in it when we go like into Alabama or to South Florida it's just a uh, it's actually a really comfortable vehicle so doing a little driving around here so at least he kind of I mean drives really nice still gets a lot of compliments I've had a few offers of people trying to buy it when they see it around town because they just don't see these things anymore but I'm sorry I just want to keep this thing for a while I don't think I'll be selling it anytime soon so but otherwise yeah so got your radio center consoles all gauges work and everything 
AC blows cold. It still has this little old fashioned vent underneath the dash, the crotch cooler as I always call them. So it's uh, worked really well when these vans ACs went out back in the day because we've had AC problems on our old van. And when I had this one, when I bought it, actually the air conditioning did not work. So um, apparently I replaced everything, put new compressor, you name it, a compressor, orifice tube, receiver, dryer. Only thing I had to have a company do is uh, I took it in to get the evaporator replaced because that's behind the dash and they have to basically remove everything underneath here and parts of the dash just to get to it. So that was a, a bill and a half. But otherwise, as you can see, she, I mean, driving normally around town, she just basically just cruises fine like any other vehicle. Very comfortable too, handles well for no longer has that floaty bouncy suspension feel that these vans used to have even when they had the stock suspension but yeah good shocks will help that I'll, I'll be honest with you on that but um otherwise it's a finally a beautiful day I just started gonna start taking this thing out more and more and um just get more just put a little more miles on it just make sure she runs good but all right well again this is a quick drive I'm probably gonna make a u-turn head back to the house but otherwise uh YouTube, I'll probably make more videos later on. Um, like I said, I'll probably make something on the Mach 1 or the Corvette, which uh, was a daily, dri daily driven since 1996, so it has a lot of miles but runs good, just like, well, has more miles than this van. This van's one of the two lower ones that I have. <laughs> all right, but, all right, YouTube, well, let you go, and y'all have a nice day.